Rising star Keyshawn Davis has called out Teofimo Lopez last night while also putting the rest of the 135 4B division on high alert after his career best win against Jose Pedraza. Davis made a major statement, battering the seasoned former two division champion Pedraza en route to a statement making sixth round TKO victory. And Keyshawn wasted no time setting his sights on the biggest possible fights next at lightweight or even junior welterweight. We'll give you the recap of Davis's career-defining performance, his direct challenge to Teofimo Lopez, reactions from boxers and trainers, what this means for Davis's trajectory to stardom, and analysis on potential next matchups. So without further ado, let's dive right in and break down the meteoric rise of Keyshawn Davis and his path of destruction that now has Teofimo Lopez and several top lightweights firmly in his crosshairs. It's safe to say Keyshawn Davis has officially put not just the lightweight division but the entire boxing world on notice after his spectacular TKO victory last night over the battle-tested former champion Jose Pedraza. In the best performance of his blossoming pro career, Davis overcame some early feeling out rounds to take over the fight and authoritatively break Pedraza down before forcing referee Tom Taylor to call a halt to the action in round six. Showing versatile boxing skills and lethal finishing instincts, Davis had Pedraza fighting for survival after unleashing nasty combinations, punctuated by blistering left hands and hooks to the body and head. The 24-year-old phenom left no doubt he is ready for primetime fights after such a thorough domination of his first high-level opponent. Davis has drawn comparisons to a young Floyd Mayweather for his otherworldly talent and last night afforded him the chance to demonstrate his fight IQ is just as advanced against an experienced, technically sound former champion in Pedraza, and the boxing world took notice of this potential star in the making's big coming out party. Respected trainer Ronnie Shields gushed over the young gun's poise and diverse skill set telling Fight Hype, Keyshawn's defense was beautiful, he's slipping punches. That's what you gotta do when you have a guy coming at you like Pedraza throwing a lot of punches. But he made him miss most of them punches. Fellow unbeaten contender Michelle Rivera kept it straight to the point simply tweeting, Keyshawn Davis is the truth. With fight fans buzzing over his flawless showing, Keyshawn himself made it clear he is not here for a gradual climb up the ranks. This decorated amateur and Olympic silver medalist is gunning for the biggest fights possible immediately. And first on his list appears to be newly crowned WBO junior welterweight champion Teofimo Lopez. The brash-talking former undisputed lightweight king moved up to 140 last night, escaping with a debatable split decision over Jamaica Ortiz in a major test. Never one to avoid a challenge, Davis didn't hesitate to call his shot, telling Lopez in his post-fight interview, Teofimo been doing a lot of talking lately, so hey, I go up to 140 and fight Teofimo. What's up? Get this win tonight. Teofimo, you already know how I'm coming. You and your father. So let's set it up. Strong words from the surging 24-year-old, who clearly has no issue skipping right over the queue to take on one of boxing's biggest young stars and biggest trash talkers. Despite being at the very start of his career, Keyshawn is highly confident and is willing to take on the best fighters in his weight category. I guess he might even be up to changing his weight category to fight the big names. Of course, Teofimo has already gone on record multiple times claiming he and his father could easily handle Davis. And you know the prideful Honduran American won't take too kindly to being called out by the less proven upstart. In the past, Lopez has dismissed Davis as just a TikTok fighter, too afraid to really test himself. But Keyson's masterclass last night may just force Teofimo to back up all his tough talk if they meet in the ring. After his dominant display, Davis has shocked the world up. And Davis made it crystal clear he has no qualms moving up in weight for such a legacy-building matchup, saying, quote, Throughout this whole training camp, I've been saying that I'm the best at 135, but I told everyone to not worry about it and just watch me work. I got the stoppage. Of course, the tank-like Emmanuel Navarrete also received high praise from Davis, who labeled fighting the streaking Mexican knockout artist an honor after he likely snatches up another lightweight strap in the coming months. But it's clear Keyson's preference is settling the heated score with none other than Teofimo Lopez next in a potential passing of the torch-style showdown. Davis continued to flex his confidence and eagerness to take over the sport post-fight, telling reporters, Everybody keeps trying to say that I'm not ready, but I'm telling y'all I was born ready. It's time for a changing of the guard. They also clashed on the ringside after Davis's fight. There's Keyshawn Davis, who called out to you, Lopez after his win in our main event. Easy, easy to say now he stole the show tonight. 
A Davis versus Lopez clash would no doubt be fireworks and the biggest test to date for the young 24-year-old phenom who detractors claim has yet to be truly tested despite last night's clinic against a former champion. Of course, the ball is now in Teofimo's court, whether he wants to put his freshly won belt on the line against the dangerous Olympic standout gunning for his spotlight. Some believe Lopez may opt for a less risky first defense now that he's captured gold again at 140 OABS. But you know the prideful Teofimo wants a chance to silence Davis and his naysayers claiming Kison didn't beat anybody legit yet. How do you think a Davis versus Lopez matchup goes down at this stage? Can Davis replicate his pinpoint accuracy and effective combination punching against the naturally bigger Teofimo? Or does Teo's speed and power prove too much for the less experienced Davis just yet? Also, let me know if you'd rather see Kison take on Navarrete or one of the other top lightweights before biting off more than he can chew at 140 versus Lopez. One thing looks certain, Keyshawn Davis has confidently let it be known that the Jose Pedraza demolition was just the start of what he plans on accomplishing in 2023 and beyond. Strap in fight fans, the takeover starts now. There you have it ladies and gents, an inside look at the meteoric rise of Keyshawn takeover Davis after his Pedraza TKO victory and subsequent call out of Teofimo Lopez. Davis exceeded all expectations in his first true test against a seasoned former champion, displaying the complete package of skills, ring IQ and killer instinct needed for superstardom. And he plans to strike while the iron is hot, gunning for the biggest possible fights next to take over the sport, whether it's Teofimo at 140 or the top dogs at lightweight. So, what do you think is next for Keyshawn Davis after such an extraordinary showing? Does he bite off more he can chew at this stage against Lopez? Or dominant established contenders first, before shooting for undisputed glory? Let me know who you want to see Keyshawn face next, and how you think he fares against top-tier competition in the loaded lightweight and junior welterweight divisions. Thanks as always for tuning in boxing fans. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for all the latest boxing news and updates. Until next time.